sometimes a, a rotation has a way of just ironing itself out, um, as ours kind of did last year. And then, you know, we even had more injuries and had to go deeper in, into it. But you go with an open mind. I can tell you CC is going to start opening day, and then we go from there and try to figure out how everyone else lines up and who our five starters are. Um, you know, you, you sign Corota to be a starter, and you sign Pineda to be a starter. and um, But we, all these guys we expect to be starters. We do have some guys. I mean, you do have a Phil Hughes that has pitched well in both areas. Um, but we envision him as a starter, and we just have to go from there. Um, and I envision Freddie as a starter. So once again, we have a six-man rotation, and i got to whittle it down to five. That will be one of the most interesting stories of spring training. Maybe the most interesting story is who wins that number five spot. Guys, you have Phil Hughes, a former 18-game winner, only 25, but even he said, I'm not a prospect anymore. I have to come in here and prove something. Bob, I'll start with you. What do you think about Hughes, and what does he have to get done this spring to remind the Yankees of who he used to be? Well, he's taken a, f a first step in that direction. He showed up in terrific shape, and I spoke to him about what he did over the winter. He spent three months at the Athletes Institute in Los Angeles getting himself stronger, losing some weight, regaining some sort of core strength that he hopes will generate better velocity and allow him to repeat his delivery better. Uh, he's lost it. I mean, there's no doubt that he cannot pitch at the level he did in 2011. He's got to get back to the 2010 Phil Hughes. Now, whether he can or cannot, we'll see in the next four, five, six weeks. Right now, he looks pretty good, but he has a lot to prove. Joel, we know Hughes is going to be a big story, but there's a big man in camp who's also another big story, Michael Pineda. We watched this guy throw yesterday. He's throwing fastballs and sliders already. Russell Martin loved the movement on the slider. What do you think about Pineda? We know he has to develop that changeup to make him an even more elite pitcher. Yeah, you know, Brian Cashman has said it already, is no number one or two pitcher in the entire sport has just two pitches. He's going to need the third pitch. And that's part of Brian Cashman and the administration trying to tamp down the pressure. But boys, this is New York. He got traded for Jesus Montero. If Montero starts tearing it up in April and May, it's not going to be okay for him to have a five or six ERA. He's going to have to pitch well, and he's going to have to pitch like something that looks like a number two or three starter right away. What you see out there throwing in the bullpen is a lot of physicality. The ball comes out of his hand hard. You even see when he's throwing his changeup how hard the ball comes out of his hand, the good deception. You know, he's got a lot of pressure on him, even as they try to lower the pressure on him. Russell Martin, who we're going to hear from later in the show, told me earlier today that Rothschild has already worked on the grip with his changeup. And Russell Martin said, and Bob, you can speak to this, he said he sometimes has a tendency to baby the changeup. And he really has to go full force. He has to get out there in front because you want the hitter to right. believe that that changeup is your fastball. Well, I mean, that's the best thing you can do for a changeup is to mask it and make it look like a fastball. Some pitchers develop it right away. They just have a natural gift. Uh, think about Frank Viola a couple of years ago. He had the great one, uh, Bob Ojeda with the Mets back in the day. Some pitchers get it. Some pitchers never do. And we'll see if Banana can, can develop it. It depends on whether or not he really trusts it. I mean, you can throw it on the sidelines. You can throw it in a bullpen. But when you've got a guy on third base who's onto your fastball and your second pitch isn't really working that day, do you really believe in that changeup? Are you afraid to throw it or not? And what you're thinking often has a direct effect on whether or not that pitch is effective. We'll see if Pineda has that self-confidence.